This ultrasound is that of a 45 years old female in which uh, we are going to scan the hepatobiliary system for which he has been uh, referred uh, specially. Now in the region of the right hypochondria, I see a uh, bag shaped structure which is the gallbladder and uh, this gallbladder is full of uh, internal echoes that are shiny, tiny particles, very small, numerous, uncountable particles that are filling the lumen of the gallbladder and the gallbladder measuring approximately 12.0 centimeters better person mm -hmm. now with patient in left lateral decubitus posture is it really a gallbladder now here you see that uh, we can see the portal vein at right angles to the neck of the gallbladder here we are this is the portal vein and this is the gallbladder lumen filled with sludge, full of sludge. This is the fundal region of the, gall of the gallbladder. This is the transfer section of the gallbladder. In transfer section, it measures 4.4 and more than 5 is considered as a distended gallbladder. So this is not a distended gallbladder. Though, uh, by other parameter, it is descended in a sense that in length it measures approximately 13.8 and the kidney measures normal kidney, 9.6 so, uh, centimeter. So, it said that uh, the gallbladder in length should be less than the uh, right kidney. But in this case, we are seeing uh, that the gallbladder measures, this is a, not a true longitudinal section of the gallbladder. Here we are. This is somewhat appropriate. So 11.6 centimeters and the kidney in length measures 8.9.5 centimeters. So the length of the gallbladder is more as compared to that of the right kidney's length. And uh, the transfers in transfer section, we can see that uh, this uh, uh, the gallbladder is full of uh, sludge and the slide shows shiny particles within it. Measuring 4.7 centimeters and uh, in longitudinal section. So this is the longitudinal section of the gallbladder. This is the transfer section of the gallbladder. What else? Now, you can see that this is the, the common bile duct is dilated. You can see that the common bile duct is dilated. This is the CBD. This is the photo vein. CBD, this is the common binder, measures 16 millimeters and uh, more than 7 is considered to be a dilated CBD with intact gall blood.
a patient does not have any pain, has jaundice. So this is a painless. Uh, she has painless jaundice with raised alkaline phosphatase and Sudhya so We can see that the intrahepatic bile ducts are dilated at all levels and they reach the periphery of the liver. Here we are. This is the left lobe in transfer section. And uh, this is the right lobe in transfer in You can see the degree of intrahepatic bile duct ectasia. This serpentious shaped structures, these black linear structures are all suggestive of intrahepatic bile duct ectasia. And they reach the periphery of the liver. As you can see, the dilated ducts reach the periphery of the liver. Regarding pancreas, we do have an impression of uh, a focal lien relating to the head of the pancreas area, this area, this one, this one, is relating to the head of the pancreas, this is the body of the pancreas, this is the superior mesenteric vein, superior mesenteric artery, and this is the aorta. This is the left renal vein crossing anterior to the aorta. So liver. Dilated nerves. Pancreas. This is the pancreas. In transfer section. This is the head of the pancreas with the solid area relating to the head of the pancreas, possibly a mass relating to the head of the pancreas. And this is the organ. This is the square mesentery artery. This is the Sorry, this is the superior mesentery vein, this is the superior mesentery artery, this is the tail of the pancreas, there are bowels, the stomach, and this is portion of the liver. Okay, now proceeding a bit further, you see that uh, the common bile duct is dilated. That this is the gallbladder once again. This is the neck of the gallbladder. Here we see dilated common bile duct. This is the porta hepatic region. Here you can see this is the duct of, this is the pancreatic duct at the head of the pancreas. This is the pancreatic duct at the region of the body of the pancreas. Here. This is the pancreatic head. And the pancreas, uh, pancreatic duct measures 4.4 millimeters, is dilated, and uh, in the region of the head it measures 4.4, is dilated in the body of the pancreas, it measures 3.3, is dilated and brought to us as well. This is the body of the pancreas, the body of the pancreas, this is the superior mesentery vein. Superior mesentery vein. This is the aorta in transfer section. This is the portal vein. 
this is the duct, this area is the pancreatic duct and this is the pancreatic duct, this is D, sorry, D, D is for duct, this is the liver, this is the magnified view of the pancreas, this is the pancreas, body of the pancreas, and this is the head of the pancreas, this one, this region, this one, in which you are seeing dilated duct. Well, this is the supreme the left hemidiaphragm and supreme measures 13.8 centimeters from pole to pole up more than 12 is considered enlarged. So the supreme is enlarged. Suprenic vein, this is splenic vein, it's not dilated. It's normal in caliber. One thing more that you will see is pneumobilia, that is, there is air in the biliary tract and it will give you shiny appearance with commutal artifact. This is air. You see this is air giving artifacts. This is air giving artifact. This is air giving commutal artifact. So this is what is called as pneumobilia. This is a magnified view to show you how the air appears as and uh, how is it. Now see this one. I am focusing this one. This is the air particle. It's giving s small persistent uh, reverberation artifact. This is called common tail artifact and this is consistent with air in the now in this case this is the uh, air in the biliary tree. So there is pneumobilia as well. This is air. This is a magnified view, in fact, that of the liver. So you can see here that this is the portal vein. This is the common bile duct. This is the air in the biliary tree. And you can trace the common bile duct up to the region of the hypochoic solid area relating to the head of the pancreas or this one. This hypochoic area this one, this one. This is a mass waiting to the head of the pancreas or ampulla of water. This is the head of the pancreas from here to here, from here to here. And this is our case of the day. Thank you very much.